Hi, I'm glad to present my 1949 Alfa Romeo 6C2500 Supersport by Pinin and Farina. There were about 70 of these made between 1942 and 1953. Some say as few as 25 or 30 cars. Nobody seems to really know. I'm going to get out now and we'll walk around the car and then I'll show you the, we can see the inside as well as uh, walking around and then see the engine compartment. <clears throat> this car was originally bought by a toothpaste magnet in Milano in 1949. It remained in Italy for a period, and we know that it appeared in New York in 1958. After that, they lost track of it for a little bit, and it reappeared in the mid-70s. From that point on, there were two owners. It was purchased in the mid-70s in 47 boxes waiting restoration. That restoration never was made by the owner. 20 years later, he sold it to another individual in those boxes. That individual was gonna restore it. Same story over again. And in, 19, in 2017, excuse me, that owner sold it to a Eastern European individual who actually did the complete restoration and this, I bought it from him, and this is what we have now. If you want to take a look now, we're going to, we're going to take a good look at the interior of the car. You can see the Art Deco uh, and pre-war uh, look of the car. All of the original accoutrements that went along with it. Uh, now I'm going to open the hood on this side and in here we'll be able to see the traditional three carburetors that are indicative of the Supersport model. Walking around the front end again, we'll take a look at the other side of the motor. Here you can see the six cylinders, or six spark plugs, excuse me, and the condition of the interior is really quite nice, uh, interior of the engine compartment. And that's kind of the story of my Alfa Romeo. Uh, this is my fourth Alfa, and it's my favorite ride as of 2020. Thanks for listening to my story.